Hey everybody, Mr. Odom here, and we're going to work out problem 19 from section 6.5. All right, make sure you have your stuff, pencil, composition book, or notebook paper, and your calculator. And the learning target for this video is I can calculate the percent of error. So there's a concert, and you estimate. You estimate? No, you estimate. Um, so you guess that 200 people attended the school concert. The actual attendance, the actual amount is 240. So part A, I did that part already, and we got our answer, 16.7%. Yay, we got that one, all right? Uh, for part B, it says, what other estimate, so what other guess gives the same percent error, all right? So I wanna draw a little number line talk about this. So the actual amount, let's say, let's put it right here. So the actual number of guests or people or students or whatever at the concert was 240. All right. And you guessed 200. So there's 200 right there. All right. And the difference here, the distance uh, between these two numbers is 40 okay and this gave us a 16.7 percent error all right is there another guess if i look in this direction here if i keep going this direction and i make guesses let's say i guessed 180 or 100 people this percent of error is going to get bigger it's not going to be the same so i can't find another value going to the left. What if I go to the right? Can I find another value? Well, if I guess 250 people, then remember my numerator is going to be 250 minus 240, which is 10. I need the numerator to be 240. So I know that I need to pick a number greater than 240. So when I calculate the percent of error the amount of the error divided by the actual amount, that numerator needs to be 40. And I know that this number is going to be smaller, so it's going to be over here, 240. So what should I put here on this number line so that I get 40 over 240? Because if I get that, then my percent of error again will be approximately 16.7%. All right, so all I have to do is I have to go this direction, 40 students. And where do I end up? 280. So I put that in there. And 280 minus 240 is 40. And so notice I get this same relationship that I had up here, the same ratio, 40 to 240, here was 40 to 240. And that gives me the same percent of error. So remember, percent of error is a guess. And you can guess, you can guess high or you can guess low, all right? Um, or you could guess the actual amount. Then your numerator would be zero and your percent of error would be zero percent, which means you got it you, you hit you hit the nail on the head. You guessed correctly. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Um, this is Mr. Odom, and I am out.